How's it going viewers? Thank you guys for watching my video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to remove an iCloud account from an iPhone. I will be demonstrating on an iPhone 7 Plus running iOS 10.1.1. So this demonstration is for the purpose of removing your iCloud information. If you had accidentally forgot your, uh, pa your password for your iCloud or if somebody changed on you on purpose, uh, somebody's messing with you, anything like that, um, this is kind of a special circumstance. Uh, find your iPhone must be off. And if you guys are not sure, uh, in order to do this reset, you'll have to be able to get access into the phone. So will you, if there's a passcode on the front, you will need to know that. Um, once you're in your phone, you can go ahead and go to settings. And from your settings, go ahead and go to your iCloud. As you guys can see, uh, I have one signed in. I'm just kind of simulating this. Uh, if you scroll down to the bottom, find my iPhone is off. This has to be off for this method to work. Um, if you go to turn it off, it's gonna ask you for your password, for the iCloud password. So um, in this case, if it's off, mine is off. I usually don't turn them on. Um, so it is off. And this is the way you do the reset. So that definitely has to be off. Just saying that one more time. Uh, this find my iPhone portion must be off so once it, if it is off uh, then you are kind of lucky you get to reset it so what you're going to want to do is once you are back in settings go to general and from general go ahead scroll down to reset and then erase all content and settings erase iphone uh, if you want to sure you want to erase it yes and so um like i was like i mentioned before it's a must you must have that uh box checked is off if it's on this will not work it will only reset it and it will get you back into the hello screen but you will not be able to proceed any farther without the password so you will need the password and as you guys saw that i was actually in the signed in on the phone on the icloud account so just with this method i'm going to show you guys that it does work and then another thing is when you sign in with an iCloud account, it is kind of by default puts, uh, turns on the Find My iPhone as a default on the newer phones. It will do that. Um, so chances are you might have that set to on. And if that's the case, once again, this method will not work for you. And so here we are. This is the second loading Apple uh, logo the first one was removing all information off the phone kind of doing a factory reset clearing everything to factory settings and the second one is loading up the needed information for the phone as a new uh, device new software uh, a wiped clean software so here we are we are back on the hello page and this is ios 10 so there's no more slide feature it is click the home button um, going over here we'll do english uh, united states and I'm just going to go through this to show you guys that, yes, um, that I did remove the iCloud information. You know, wait for my internet here to pop up. I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. So there we have it. Got my password in. I'm going to go ahead and hit join. It joins the password. Joins the Wi-Fi connection. Correct password. And it's just activating my phone. This is not technically activating to where it's going to be usable. Um, I don't have an active SIM in there. So it just moves me on the next step. I'm going to go ahead, disable location services. And I'm going to set all this up later. Set touch ID later. Continue. Passcode options. Don't add a passcode. Are you sure? Continue. And then it's going to ask restore from backup, restore from iTunes, move data from an Android, set up as a new iPhone. And from here, it's asking for your Apple ID information. Don't have an Apple ID, and I'm going to set up later. Are you sure you don't want to use it? And I select don't use. Here are the terms and conditions. I agree. Use Siri. I'll don't use Siri. I'll set that up later. And don't send any diagnostics. Let's go ahead and get started. I personally like the number three button. You can go ahead and hit next. And then for standard view gonna hit next there and get started so here we are we're back on the home screen settings uh, we will go down to iCloud you will see there's nothing there and just like that it will remove the old iCloud information that was in there previously so it signs out and you're at this point able to sign in with 
any other iCloud information that will take it it will sign it in so that is how you remove an iCloud once again this is through special circumstances that find my iPhone has to be off if it's not off this method will not work so I hope you guys found this video helpful if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up uh, if you guys have any comments questions or concerns go ahead and drop them in the comment section below and if you like this video uh, be sure to subscribe to see more like it um, that's all I got for you guys in this one thank you guys for watching have a nice day